Hi, this is a video walkthrough for installing Loop Document Services into Salesforce or updating Loop Document Services in Salesforce. Both require the same steps and are therefore covered within the same video. As a requirement, you must have Salesforce or Force.com. If you have Salesforce, the additions that you need are either Enterprise, Unlimited, or Developer. Once you are ready, the first thing you have to do is navigate to the App Exchange. You can either do that directly from your browser or you can be directed there from Salesforce. If you're within Salesforce, you can simply switch apps from the app you are currently in to add App Exchange apps. This will direct you to the App Exchange. Once you're there, go to the search box, select apps, and type loop and do a quick search. Loop Document Services should be the first application that appears. Select Loop Document Services by Draw Loop. This will redirect you to a detailed description of Loop Document Services for Salesforce. Once you're ready to move forward, select Get It Now. And if you already haven't logged in, you can select to log into the App Exchange. Enter in your Salesforce username and password, and then select Login. You'll be redirected back to the App Exchange. And from here, you must choose whether you're installing in production or in a sandbox. Good rule of thumb is if you Go to test.salesforce.com to log in. You're most likely installing into a sandbox, whereas if you go to salesforce.com, you most likely are logging into production. Once you decide which environment you're installing into, go ahead and select the button. And then you'll be taken to a terms and conditions screen. Check the box that says, I have read and agreed to the terms and conditions and then choose the Confirm and Install button. You'll be required to log into Salesforce one more time, enter your username and password, and hit the Login button. You will be directed to the Package Details, which will list all the components that will be installed in your Salesforce account. Once you have reviewed and are ready to move forward, simply select Continue. This will take you to step one of the installer. Once you're in step one, scroll down to the bottom of the page and select the next button. Step two of the installer is a very crucial step. As a best practice, we recommend that you choose to grant access to all users. This will automatically deploy the custom objects that Loop installs to your users. If you were to select Grant Access to Admins Only, you'll have to manually deploy all objects and fields installed by Loop at a later time once all your users are ready to use Loop with Salesforce. Once you've made your selection, select Next and move on to Step 3 of the installer. Once you get to step three, simply push the install button. You'll be notified that the package is being installed and you should receive an email when it completes. Once you get the email confirmation, you can move on to selecting the appropriate level of service. Once the package is fully installed, you should have a loop app within Salesforce. You can switch views by selecting the drop down and going to loop. The loop view will have a DDP admin tab which controls what services you're using with loop document services. In addition to being able to select your service, you can authorize a sandbox if you're using a sandbox account. Do not push this button unless you are installed in a sandbox. If you accidentally push the authorize sandbox account button, you can always select click here which will unauthorize a sandbox account. 
Next, you can modify your subscription services. Select the Modify Subscription Services button and you'll be taken to a subscription service page. Here you can choose which service you want and which edition for each service you want to use. If you want a better idea of what features are available on each edition, you can navigate to our corporate site, drawloop.com, go to our solutions, select the option for Salesforce, and you can choose either Loop Reports or Loop Storage, as well as Loop Plus. There should be a link to pricing in each page. And with each pricing page, you can see which features are enabled for which edition, and also get a good idea of subscription cost. Once you select your service, you can hit save and move on to additional steps that are available in the About Loop page. If you plan to use Loop Reports, you'll need to authorize our IP ranges. Selecting the Authorize IP Ranges button will autofill a form from which you can save and be redirected back to the About Loop page. Then, if you also plan to use Loop Reports, you need to enter in your Salesforce username and password and possibly security token into the username and password fields. Once that is done, you have to select Authorize Loop Reports, and then you should be ready to use our services. If you have any questions, you can always call sales at 949-242-0455, option one. And if you need to troubleshoot some issues, you can always call support at 949-242-0455, option two. Thank you.